So my next part, I'm going to do this gray background right here. Right, that's scheduled for today and boom, so let's go. Um, I'm saving different versions of my code just to keep a record, but uh, Replit does have some kind of version control, so I can access the old ones, but why not? I'm calling it step two, the gray background. So here's where I left off last time. And I made the three dials with the little gray bit. That's actually my turtle. And the last video, I, I switched... I converted it all to a for loop just to show you, hey, there's value in that. So this one, I want, again, making the, the electrical dis disperser or whatever. I want to make this gray background. All right, so I'm going to make the box in the background. I'm, I might, I'm just going to make it a gray box. So if I were to do this on my screen, I'm going to annotate this. This is so convenient and... In um, what what's this called here? Oh, can't I? Don't you have a gray? Maybe not. So I'm gonna make the box. It's like convenient. I can just like draw what I want on my screen and zoom. And then can I just actually draw a square? Yeah. Okay. So let's just draw a square. Uh, okay. Roughly, you're here. I want it to be like this. And then the other box should be like kind of lined up like that. Sure, I'm gonna make it do that. So I'm doing this outline again. I don't know if you ever mess with Zoom. Yeah, if I do this, it resizes things. So there, to give me an idea of which pixels, why not? Otherwise I could have eyeballed that, so. I saved my picture in the replit. That's kind of nice. It's just a reference file here, so I don't have to pull it off my desktop. It's kind of cute and convenient. So let's make our box here. I'm going to make it down here. Um, so I want to draw a box. I have to make a new turtle, don't I? Yeah, because it's not going to be one of these, so it's like a separate drawing turtle. How do I make a turtle? Oh, someone joined? All right. So... How do I want to draw this? I want to create a turtle. This is how you create a turtle. Wait, why do I do this twice in this code Code right here? What? I don't think it's supposed to... Oh... Yeah, don't do this twice. Oh, that was going to cause me a problem later. Because the act this actual turtle, so when I did this, I better go to the old code. Wait, redo. Let me hit undo. Control. What do you do? What's the shortcut command for undo? Oh, let's pause. Undo is control Z. So I did this in the old code. I better fix this. So this set dial equal to turtle and then add it to the dial list because I thought I was going to use these later to maybe rotate them. But then this created a brand new turtle to actually make these circles. And that's not what I wanted at all. So like these circles are created by a turtle that's lost. The ones in this here are not the ones that made this work. Ooh, that's one of the problems in Python. Sometimes you get like, it doesn't tell you if you made a problem. Like, it, it's just okay if you rewrite over the variables. I mean, I think a lot of languages would do that, but. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back in time to that other code and fix that. Call it this one. I want to fix that in here. Because I don't want to forget about that later. There you go. All right, so I'm going to create a new turtle. We're going to call this the, um, oh, why is this not centered right now? Oh, no, because I have to. Yeah, something like that, right? 
Okay. So I'm going to say it's going to be the uh, panel equals turtle dot. Nope. Turtle dot turtle. So you make a new turtle, right? Called the panel. I'm going to call it the gray panel, whatever. So, okay, and I'm going to say this part of my code, let's comments, uh, create the gray panels. So the boom and boom, like this picture. All right, so I'm going to go to panel dot uh, pen color. Should be gray. I'm going to say, oh, the, let's say what the outline is. Okay, so it should be like, I want it like a black outline and then fill in with gray. That's what I'm going to go with. So panel color, pen color. I'm going to make sure it's black. I know the default's black, but let's just call it black. And then, okay, panel dot. So I want to start in one corner, start up here. But we have, to, we start zero, zero. So I want to like, and up, remember, panel dot go to, and what's that corner coordinate? I don't know. I should write that down. I should put that note somewhere. I think judging by dial location, this was at negative 100. I think it's about negative 200 and then positive 200. Let's see. It's. I think it's 200 in each direction. So we're going to go negative 200, positive 200. Let's see what happens. Panel dot pen down. And then I want it just to draw a line going down to here. So I'm going to say panel dot go to negative 200. And then let's say, oh, that, let's say this corner is like, Negative 150. And then let's see what happens. I can't see anything because of the... Is that... No. <laughs> Didn't draw anything. Uh, it probably wasn't here, so let's, let's say it's negative 100. Okay, so that's 100. I think it's 100, and let's say 80. And now I've got to fix this location too, so it's going to be 180. Okay, let's go down slightly more. So 175, oh, you know, 80, I'm going to go down to 195. 180 was a good spot right there. See, I probably should get rid of this box because we're not, okay, I was right on. You can kind of see it a little bit. There you go. All right. Um, yeah. So it went down, probably went down a little too far. So I said, I want this. Let's change that to 40. Let's see where it goes. I'm just making a box right now, folks. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Um, I'm going I'm to be picky. Huh. Hey, if you don't want to be picky, don't do this. You're like, good enough. Okay. Now I'm going to go across to, I want to go to this, this spot right here. So what's this spot going to be? This is going to be, I know zero's in the middle. So I think it's a little over zero. I'm going to say 20, negative 135. You don't change the Y axis. So I'm going to do this. Now, one thing that's getting kind of annoying is it has to draw this stuff every time. 
Oh, that was like spot on right there. I'm getting good at this. If you wanted to, we could, so to avoid having to do this part every time, I'm going to comment out the code. I'm going to comment out that code just for now. All right. Now I can go up panel dot go to. Um, we want to go back up to the top. So it'll be 20 comma 195. And then panel dot go to back to negative 180. 195. All right. So I should draw my box. Good. And if I didn't have that there, you see, there's the box. Guess what? I'm going to erase that. Don't need it. Now let's draw the next one. I'm gonna draw, I'll, fill, I'll fill the boxes in later. Actually, let's fill the boxes in now. Now, you remember how to fill? I always get this. I guess this wrong. I'm going to look at my list of commands. So you do fill color. I want the fill color to be gray and then begin fill and fill. Right? And the fill color does not have the underscore, but begin and end fill do. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go. Let's do this. I can, you know what? I'm going to do fill color up here. Actually, so I could put fill color up there, but I feel I should put that fill color next to actually doing the fill. I want to fill with gray. Panel dot begin fill. And then panel dot end fill. Let's see what that does. I'm making art. There. That goes so fast you don't see it move. Awesome. All right. Picky me might want a lighter color of gray, but we'll talk about that later. Is light gray? Do you think that is a word? We can actually do the RGB values. Ooh, that's a word. Hey. I don't want that lighter gray, I think, for a little better contrast there. All right. So now I'm going to go do the other one. So panel dot and up. Then we're going to have to move it over to this corner. So, panel dot go to. Okay, the X. So, it's, if 20 was right here, I'm going to say it's, let's say 30, comma, 195. Still the same Y value. And let's see if that works. Oh, wait. I spent to say 30. Jeez, brain. Come on. Oh, I'm pretty good at that. It's like right on. All right, so we're going to go panel dot pen down and then panel dot go to uh down to the bottom, which is going to be 30 negative 135. That's what we did before. That go to it's going to be We have to figure out what this one is. So, I'm going to say it's positive Try positive 180 to negative 135. Let's see where that goes to. Oh, a little too far. So I'm going to say, oh wait, 35 still. Let's just say this is 75. And I'm going to make it 70. And I'm going to dial it back to 60. I got to had to dial it back a lot. Yeah. 
let's make it, I'm just going to make it 65. Close enough. So I keep them. Maybe if I keep it an even digit like that. Then I'm going to go up. Panel dot go to. I want to go up to uh, 165, 195. Panel dot go to 30, 195. Awesome. So if I do all that, and then we probably got to do this fill too, right? Yep. And I can even clear all the etchings. Awesome. I'm going to copy and paste these. I can just do the exact same thing. And let's see what it does. Perfect. And now if I want to see it with all the code in. Draws my circle dealies. And box. Oh, so we want to make sure that the order we do this, I guess, matters, right? So I probably should put these way up here. I'm going to keep this list together and create these things together. Sounds good. Uh, should I comment this code? Uh, create the gray panels. I'm going to maybe say draw, draw two rectangles, fill them with gray. I mean, this is going to be, this is the second rectangle. And maybe I put just so I don't. And I'm going to go end of the gray panels. I'm going to do this kind of stuff. I'm doing this because my code's going to be really annoying and pretty long, probably. So this is like, oh, all this chunk together is like, you've probably done this in Word documents. This chunk together is, you know, one big thing just to kind of chunk it up a little bit more. So you can do that kind of stuff. Could I put more co comments in there? Yeah, but I don't, I don't think I'm doing anything weird. I think I'm good. I'm going to say I'm good there. So let's try this now. Uh, run. Let's go. Perfect. One thing I probably want to do is, oh, it drew twice. Duh. One thing I probably want to do is hide that turtle at the end, right? So there's a way to hide the turtle. I believe it's just called hide. Hide turtle. So oh, I don't want to see that. It looks gross. So I'm going to go panel, hide, turtle. We don't need to see that at the end. It drew its box. Done. Cool. I almost for these rings want them to be like, wish there's like an outline in black so that'd pop a little bit better, but yeah. I'm not going to worry about it right now. There I go. I made the gray rings. I'm following my schedule. Done with this video. Next one's tomorrow.